Hi guys, I'm just doing a quick uh, review today of one of my USB chargers that I quite like. Um, I got this from my local store, JCar. It's one of their PowerTech brands. Um, and it's a four port USB charger with a total loading of 6.8 amps, which I quite like because I've got a lot of USB items that need to be uh, charged either at the same time or they require higher charging current than normal regular 500 milliamp phone chargers would take. So, um, right, get it started. You've got a nice range here, 1 amps, 2.4 amps, and then IQ, I can explain what those are in a minute. Um, and you've got a power point here, so you can plug that in and plug whatever appliance you want on the output, not exceeding its ratings, of course. Uh, and you also get surge protection on the output as well, which would probably be in, um, I think, an MOV, Metal Oxide Varista. I think it's one of those that would be used for surge protection, so it's, at least it's something. Um, get some nice fancy little indicator lamps for power and your surge protection there. And uh, it's quite nicely laid out. Um, yeah, this is what it mainly looks like on its side. Um, yeah, so it's it's not too tall and it's not too wide either. But um, here's the back. This is your regular plug for New Zealand. Fits well. It's uh, the um, it's clearly labelled. You know, you don't really need to be labelling those. Um, and let's see the back. Right, here we go. Nice. Just trying to adjust it. Cool. So, here's the power adapters. So it's power adapter with four USB chargers. Supply voltage, 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. So it doesn't, doesn't really care what frequency you stuff in it. As long as it's between those two. Total loading, 10 amps. USB output, 5 volts, 6.8 amps. USB times 4. So, and it's made in China. So that's all you're really going to see with one of these. Um, the pros of it is it's charging current. It's got quite a quite a beefy su supply for it, for it. So you could have quite a quite a few uh, USBs in it at the same time. So you can have these two running at their uh, top end uh, max current, which is 3.4 amps these two included so you've got quite a bit left for the IQ so the um, IQ is for smartphones the you'd get like a smartphone cable like this this would be I think USB B or C I forgot but there's data cables inside here as well so you get power and ground and your two data connections or three or whatever just depends, and the IQ will um, talk to your phone, and this will um, adjust the current that's suited for your phone, like adjust the charging current, so that's quite smart of it. It does work, I've tested it on my phone, um, so it worked quite well. Um, other than that, that's all I really have to say for one of these things, it's... Um, it's not light, so it's actually got the stuff in it, and it, uh, it's not too cheap either. But um, I will show you when it's set up and running. Just a second. This is uh, the thing really plugged in. So you got a bit of room, but um, nothing too crazy. Here's the lights. It's just the um, hurt. The um, there's a the resolution between the. Um, cycles and that's what it looks like and that's just plugged into my general setup and i'll show you a device that's uh, plugged into it so here are my headphones plugged into it plugged into the uh, 2.4 amp one there we go the only problem with these is you've got to have them plugged in all the way in so you can't really have a loose connection so if it's plugged in like that, even that tiny little gap won't let this be, won't let this charge. You have to have it all the way plugged in, all the way to the edge, and that's when it will start charging. 
so that can be a bit annoying if you accidentally uh, jolt the cable and it comes out of the USB port um, but other than that it's quite great I do like it so yeah that's just a quick review of these um, of the PowerTech um, multi-port USB charger and PowerPoint thanks for watching I'll be doing more reviews soon thank you very much